maybe, possibly, the Trump arrest leak came out just one day after the House Oversight Committee released a memorandum. Bank records revealed that multiple Bidens were receiving payments from a Chinese energy company. You know, the country that is threatening us and we're threatening them because they're an enemy of ours, I guess. But you wouldn't know it from Gretchen Whitmer. You see that deal she just made? with? It's fantastic. Read all about that. This news also coincided with another major story. Hunter Biden filed a lawsuit going after the owner of the computer repair shop that exposed the Hunter Biden laptop. So the laptop is real and it is his. And now he's admitted it wasn't a Russian hoax. He should have pointed that out earlier. So now either this is insanely coincidental an amazing lucky timing for the Bidens, or it was done to intentionally distract us. Which do you think it is? The House reveals damning, damning information, making the Bidens look guilty. Then Hunter Biden sues the laptop repair shop owner. Then a leak states that Trump is about to be arrested. Wow, incredible timing. So if all of this were part of a giant distraction operation, what, what has them so scared? China. China. You know, Joe Biden hasn't spoken to President Xi one time. He hasn't talked to him since the spy balloon. That all happened. He hadn't gotten him on the phone. What's going on with that? Told you about Gretchen Whitmer just a minute ago. Seven hundred and I think fifty million dollars in taxpayer money to a Chinese company in Michigan that in in their their doctrine, in their their bylaws as a company, it says they have to bring people into the party and have a little youth communist party. These are communists. So are the Chinese our friends or their enemies? Because I keep picking up mixed signals here. Which are they? Or is it that maybe the Chinese have something, shall I say, compromising on somebody that's important and their family? Bank subpoenas revealed less than two months after Biden left the White House in 2017 that a Chinese company called State Energy 8HK, Hong Kong, Limited, wired $3 million to Robison Walker, LLC, a limited liability company. What a surprise. Uh, in Delaware. Yeah, okay. So these guys in Hong Kong, what do they do? They provide energy for Hong Kong. And they're into this Green New Deal, too. So they had $3 million sitting around and they're like, what are we going to do with that? Well, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to, we need to get the best energy experts that are fluent in Mandarin and get them over here right away. What are their ideas for new energy? And so they went looking and they found Rob Walker. He's great. His business account only had $159,000 in it and then the Chinese call and then he had three million dollars in his account. He's got to be somebody important. Now, the very next day, Walker wired over a million dollars to a company associated to a business partner of Hunter Biden's named James Galar. So he's he's like, I, I got to get somebody else that speaks Mandarin, you know, and is up on energy. So James, he gets a million dollars. Over the next three months, Walker would send incremental payments to multiple Bidens and their companies, including Hunter Biden, James Biden, that's Joe's brother, really the better looking one, I would, I mean, I think. But that's not enough. I mean, Hunter Biden, sure, we know he can speak Ukrainian, right? So. He knows about gas and oil. So he's, of course, you got to do it. James, he's, 
got to have some of that money too because he's got something important to say. But if you really want to get the expert on energy in China, you go right to the source. It's Hallie. Hallie Biden, Bo Biden's ex-wife and <laughs> uh, uh, just the sexy, sexy uh, girlfriend of Bo Biden's brother, Hunter. You got to get this team together. Now, there is another set of money that went in. We don't know who it is. It's just listed as Biden. Spokesperson for Hunter Biden stated, quote, Hunter Biden, a private citizen with every right to pursue his own business endeavors, joined several business partners in seeking a joint venture with a legitimate energy company in China. Hunter received his portion of good faith seed funds, which he shared with his uncle James and, and Hallie and, and nobody else. Okay, so now we've gone from this laptop is Russian to now this laptop is mine and I'm going to sue. And now we find out, yeah, I did do that, but it was totally legitimate. And I did not give it to the big guy, uh, the other Biden. It was so legitimate, why did this Chinese company use a pass-through of this porker? And I say that, I know porkers, look at me. Why did they disperse the funds incrementally over several months? I mean, why don't you just do it? And why was it done just a couple of months after Joe Biden left office? And if Hunter didn't share uh, this money with anyone else, Who's the mysterious Biden? I mean, I'm just saying. If I'm trying to play, mm, I don't know, let's say pay for play, and I'm trying to hide that, I would wait to receive money from a company from a foreign adversary just a few months after I left office. If I'm trying to conceal it even further, I split it up in a whole bunch of payments and run it through, run it through a bunch of people. You know what I mean? And who is the Chinese company? Well, it's State Energy AK, uh, HK Limited. That's who that is. You know, they're into energy and stuff. Yeah. Well, we did some digging around. We found they have a, a finger in a lot of different things, including a Hong Kong investment uh, company uh, focused on the distribution of garments. Wow. Well, maybe that's what Hallie, I don't want to be sexist, but I mean, she's a sharp dresser. Their main focus does appear to be energy, however, and they made multiple purchases of green energy companies around the time they wired $3 million to Robinson Walker, which is weird because this is our green energy president. It would be weird if he was making money or being helping out, you know, the green energy over in China. And then he's like, I'm all in for green energy. That seems like a conflict. Again, rather curious. The Bidens had made the green revolution their biggest issue. Biden is the biggest green lobbyist in the world right now. And a Chinese company that buys up shares in green energy companies is sending money to the Bidens. Now, I'm not saying this is pay for play, but this is exactly what it would look like if it were. The New York Times reported that State Energy HK Limited is affiliated with another Chinese company called CEFC Energy. Now, this is where it gets really weird, okay? Yeah, Hunter's laptop mentioned a very lucrative business deal that he was working on when he was working with CEFC. The emails that were definitely Russian, but now definitely his, included a profit-sharing breakdown that showed who would get the money. This is where we first heard the phrase, 10 for the big guy. Amazing coincidence, because this company here uh, uses a pass-through uh, to wire multiple payments known uh, to somebody known only as Biden. Biden, big guy, same people. Now, weird. Were the payments sent to Hallie 
who has got to be an energy, green energy, Chinese green energy genius? Or was it meant for the big guy? I, I don't know. We still don't know. Perhaps we'll never know. And all the while this is going on, the Democrats are trying to arrest Trump for misrepresenting legal fees, a misdemeanor. They want to make it a felony. Something Hillary Clinton did, but was let off with a $10,000 fine. So, uh, sorry, $100,000 fine. Um, you know, it's weird. It seems like this is what's really going on. And they don't want you looking at any of these things over here. It seems almost like the Trump thing is a sham, a mockery, a very good distraction. Don't fall for it.